everyone remembers the historic Clásico from 2005. FC Barcelona humiliated Real Madrid 3-0 at home. Two incredible goals from Ronaldinho, another from the legendary Samuel Eto'o. But very few know about Ronnie's masterstroke that was behind this historic moment. Happily, everyone will find out today. Some moments in history have secret backstories. This Real Madrid Barcelona Clasico from November 2005 is one of them. When the final whistle was blown, everyone remembers the three-nothing masterclass from Ronaldinho's Barca. But the Brazilian's biggest stroke of genius really took place a week before the match and not during the game. He called Andres Iniesta in the middle of the night and made a shocking revelation to him. Andres, I know it's three in the morning, but I have to confess something to you. In June, I'm going to quit Barca. My brother reached an agreement with Real Madrid. It's an incredible amount of money and I can't refuse. You're young, you can understand, but please don't tell anyone in the locker room or in the club. Don't betray me. I trust you more than anyone else in the club. Good night, Andres. Ronnie the Magnificent immediately hung up he didn't give his friend time to speak. Iniesta was only 21 at the time. He could have told his family, his teammates, the club directors, the media. But Andres held his tongue and let time pass. The next day, we were at the training center and I felt a strange atmosphere around me. The entire team was silent. Was Iniesta subconsciously affected by Ronaldinho's revelation? Or was the team just nervous the week before a Clasico? November 19th, 2005. The day of the Clasico had arrived. Barca were in the away locker room at the Santiago Bernabeu. That's when Ronaldinho stood up and spoke. Lads, today is a very important match. They are good, but in these last few days, I've discovered that we're like a family. I called every one of you in the middle of the night and told you that I was going to leave in June but none of you spoke about it. After that, I knew that we were prepared to suffer in silence rather than betray each other. I'll stay here for a long time. Now, let's go on the pitch and teach Madrid a lesson. And there definitely was a lesson. Lined up in a 4-3-3 with Ronaldinho, Eto, and a young Argentinian named Messi up front, Barca didn't give the Galactic Real Madrid any chance. Beckham, Zidane, Ronaldo, and Raul couldn't do a thing. In the 10th minute, the Brazilian sent Eto running into space. In the 10th minute, the Brazilian got the party started, his party. Five minutes later, Samuel Eto opened the scoring against his former club. The rest is history. In the 58th minute, Ronaldinho gave his team some breathing room after an impressive solo performance. In the 77th minute, Ronaldinho went again. Ramos was too slow. Cassius powerless. Immediately, the Santiago Bernabeu stopped booing and started admiring the Brazilian genius. Some people stood up and applauded. Others got up and left the stadium. Ronaldinho completed his masterstroke. On the third goal, Cassius was looking elsewhere, into empty space. He didn't shout at his defenders. He knew that nothing could have been done. Ronnie was Ronnie. When Ronaldinho put on his suit and bow tie, it was impossible to stop the star of the party. When the Brazilian genius retired in 2018, the Spanish goalkeeper had perfect and classy words for his former torturer. You made me suffer, but like every football lover, I enjoyed it. Ronaldinho proved on several occasions that Stockholm Syndrome, when a hostage becomes admirative of their kidnapper, truly does exist. The proof can be seen when he retired. Ronaldinho received congratulations from Chelsea, the club which experienced one of the Brazilians' best performances in the Champions League. 
In short, for this Classico, Dino had put his trust in the entire locker room before the match. Trust which paid off. Nothing came out in the media before the match, and even after. This Barca side was very close-knit, so disinclined to reveal locker room secrets that it wasn't until Iniesta's autobiography came out in 2016 that we really found out about this impressive trick. Ronaldinho was also very mischievous. Mischief and magic. With the ball at his feet, he inspired millions of people, millions of kids. Millions of kids who dreamed of doing an elastico like him, of smiling like him, of doing the shaka like him, of doing this no-look pass like him. Ronaldinho got people talking on many occasions about his magic. His greatest feat is surely restoring Barca's former glory. Because between 1999 and 2005, Barca experienced a long and painful drought. The club didn't win a title, not a single one in six years. But FC Barcelona began to overcome this drought from 2003 onwards, ultimately having a complete downpour of trophies in 2005 and 2006. Because on July 19, 2003, FC Barcelona started a new chapter in their story. A genius had caught their eye. He was playing on the stage at Parc de Prince in Paris. The name of the artist? Ronaldinho Gaucho. Ronaldinho joined the Blaugrana from PSG. As soon as he arrived in the summer of 2003, the Ronaldinho effect began. He was the key element in a very complicated time for the club. He single-handedly made us smile. The joy, the desire. We hung on to him because the team was going through a phase of really bad results, and he changed this dynamic with the way he behaved and his game. After a season of adapting, Ronaldinho's Barca was born. The club transformed, then became an unstoppable machine. Did Ronaldinho resurrect Barca? Absolutely. Yo quería venir aquí y marcar un, né, una época Quería que futuramente todos eh, se acordasen de mí como un jugador que pasó aquí, ganó muchos títulos, entonces estoy muy cerca de ganar mi primero y, y quiero seguir de esta forma, conquistando títulos y, y dejando aquí una historia victoriosa. Ronaldinho would go on to create a winning era at Barça. The season of adapting behind him, Barça saw their title drought come to an end and the trophies once again filled the Camp No Museum. 2005 and 2006 La Liga, 2006 Champions League, 2005 and 2006 Supercopa. After six years without a title, the Blaugrana added five in two years. On an individual level, alongside his masterstroke in the 2005 Clasico, Ronnie won the Ballon d'Or that same year. Unfortunately, at the end of his Catalan adventure, Ronaldinho's tricks weren't as impressive, but he buckled down to help Barcelona out one last time, taking a young Messi under his wing and helping him become a legend like him. Something he clearly succeeded at, right? This clever trick to win the Clasico may be interpreted as a lie by some, and a work of genius by others. Regardless of how you view it, it worked. He brought the locker room closer together and he led it to victory. The change of mindset he brought to Barca led to titles. Proof that the magician Ronaldinho was more than a genius with a football.